All right, hello, hello. Welcome to Heal in a Centauro. So I hope everyone is doing well. Today is going to be your pick a crystal reading. So we're gonna find out how does the person on your mind currently feel? What is their energy towards you? So this could be a new person, this could be an old person. Doesn't really matter. So we have pile number one, two, and three. If you guys wanna book something personal, I do have a $20 off promotion. The information is in the comment section. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this crystal and I'm gonna start off with a message from your person. So what does this person want to say to pile one? Oh, okay. Seeing you with them killed me. So this person saw you as someone else or they feel like they saw you as someone else and it destroyed them. I don't love myself, how can I possibly love you? And I'm so torn right now. Let's get a few more messages. Pile one. I know I hurt you, I never intended to. Okay, so I'm kind of getting, I just heard the word karma. So I feel like if this person did something to you in the past, they're finally getting this karma. So I don't know how long it's been, but this person is finally getting this karma. And I feel here that it could be that they're seeing you moving on with someone else. And this is actually really what's causing them to realize what they've done to you. You're very intimidating. This person's low-key a little bit afraid of you. I want to see what they're torn about right now. Let's see. Why is this person torn? Why is this person torn? Yeah, definitely. The two of wands, which is someone who's kind of torn. They've got a decision to make. So they're, they're trying to make a choice about something. What are they making this decision on? What are they so torn about? Okay, so I think it's more like the battle for this person is between them and their own fears. They're very afraid of you. Like they're afraid of what this connection brings up. They find you. There's something about you that's very intimidating. Let's take a look. How you speak. There's something about how you speak. Judgment. Or how, like, what you say. Maybe you're very good with your words. Maybe it's how you speak. Maybe you've actually said something to this person that's kind of intimidated them in some way, but I think a lot of it is like either how you carry yourself or how you speak that they find very intimidating. So this person is struggling to love themselves, so this is why they couldn't fully show up for you. I feel like they're also still struggling to love themselves. Okay, there could be someone else in the mix. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, there's someone else as well. That could also be what this torn part is about. Lovers in the Three of Pentacles. There's someone else that they're struggling to get clarity on. So they have feelings for you. And they're also with someone else. Who is this? Who's this other person? Could be someone that they're lying to. Okay, so this other person that they're dealing with, they don't know what they want with this other person. Like, they're very conflicted. And I almost get that they haven't been honest with this other person. Um, like, there's something that they might have also, they might not be telling this person about you as well, is what I'm getting. But whoever this other person is, they're very conflicted about their feelings for this person. Now, when it comes to you, they're very intimidated by you. And they realize that they messed up in the past, so they feel bad for hurting you. But I also feel like they're still torn between whether or not they can get past their fears in order to come towards you. This person feels like you're moving on with someone else and it's really bothering them, okay? Um, let's pull a mixed emotion. How do they feel? They feel trapped. I feel like this trapped is more so they're trapped in their own mind. They're trapped in their own fears. I don't even think they're actually trapped. I think that this person feels like they're trapped because of this, the moon. Let's clarify. Four of Pentacles in reverse. This is someone who really badly wants to open up to you. I feel like there's a lot that they have been holding back that they want to open up, they want to express, they want to say. And this could also be why they're intimidated by you because I feel like with the judgment card, you are someone who your throat chakra is very clear. 
this is a strength for you. Your voice and how you speak, it's a strength. But I feel like for this person, they're not there. They're, that, that's, not, that's something actually that they struggle with. But there's something about how you speak or what you say that's very intimidating to this person and they want to be able to open up to you, but I feel like they're very afraid of this. This person also withholds the truth quite a bit with the Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, so pile one, that's what I'm getting for your person. Okay, so they're very conflicted right now, but I hope this resonated and can give you some insight. If you want to book something personal, like I mentioned, I do have a $20 off promotion and the code will be in the comment section. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the Malachite. We're going to start off with some messages as well. Oh, can you guys see? There we go. Okay. Kyle, two. Okay, so we have, I won't reply. Some of you might have already tried to reach out to this person and they didn't reply to you. Okay. I've been crying myself to sleep every night. And I have to, oh gosh, okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. I have depression and anxiety. I was just laughing, I was laughing kind of more so because it's like, okay, there's a lot going on here. Like, there's a lot to unpack. Um, okay, so... Don't take this personally if you did not hear back from this person because I feel like with the I won't reply, either you did reach out or you want to reach out. They won't reply or they haven't replied, mainly because they have a lot going on, okay? Like this person is in a dark place here. They've been crying themselves to sleep. They have anxiety. They have depression. They clearly have like mental health issues that they need to focus on and resolve. You guys also pulled the green chakra here as well, so this could all be related to their heart chakra. Let's see. What does this person want to say? I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes and I never expected to feel this way about you. Okay, so this person is kind of like rummaging through the past and realizing all of the mistakes that they've made in this connection. It could be that you, actually they met you at a point in time where maybe they weren't expecting to feel this way about someone, kind of caught them off guard. Let's see. Pile two. Yeah, they do not feel good enough for you, okay? Nine of Cups in reverse. The other thing I'm getting is this person may be drinking a lot or they may have some sort of like addiction or like dependency problem. Nine of Cups reverse is the card of looking for love in all of the wrong places because you don't have it inside of yourself. So it could be through, like I said, drugs, it could be love addiction, it could be anything really, but it's like excessively searching for pleasure because you don't love yourself. So that is definitely affecting this person, which is why I was saying, don't take anything personally when it comes to this connection right now. See, addictions, literally we have the devil, that's what I'm saying. So we have Capricorn energy here as well. I definitely, because I said that already, I already said drinking, for a lot of you, this person has a drinking problem or a drug problem. Whether you know this or not, they might be good at hiding it. I'm getting either a drinking problem or a drug problem. There's an addictive pattern going on here for this person. Nine of Cups often can talk about alcoholic in reverse. Doesn't have to, but the fact that these two are coming out together definitely would signal that. And I was already kind of feeling that. I feel like this person is finding very unhealthy ways to cope for, with their depression and their anxiety. Okay. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with feeling for you. Two of Pentacles reverse and the King of Cups. This person has may be in love with you actually but they don't love themselves i'm getting that this person is actually very much overwhelmed with feelings for you but they're struggling with themselves and i think this could actually be making their addiction worse in a way let's see pile two yeah my gosh what did I say before? This person is like rummaging through the past. Like they're literally looking back at every past moment that the two of you shared. Every past like little bit of communication, like every little detail of your communication. They're looking back at everything. They're looking back at photos. They're looking back at texts. They're looking back at phone call times. They're looking back at everything and really seeing where they've went wrong in this. And they really do want to take responsibility for these mis mistakes that they've made because they feel really remorseful. Okay, this person's in a lot of regret. But again, I think that because they feel regret about this, it's almost making their addiction worse. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I think that this connection is kind of, it's like stirring the pot a little bit here and this person's already not okay. 
It's like when they think about things, they start crying, they start feeling more depressed, and then I feel like they rely on this addictive habit, whatever it is, and then they get themselves in a worse mental place, and then it's like a spiral. So this person does have love for you, but they're too overwhelmed with themselves right now. That's why, I don't expect anything, because their first message to you was, I won't reply. But don't take it personally. That's like the main thing I want to say. Okay, so <laughs> that's pile number two. I hope this resonated for you guys. Let's move on to pile three. Okay, so if you chose this crystal here, let's start off with some messages. What does this person want to say to you? What does this person want to say to you? You're breaking down the walls that I've built around my heart. We have, what if I can't meet your expectations? And I effed up and I know it. So one of the main things coming through, sorry, main themes coming through in these readings has to do with these people are that you're connected to. They're really thinking a lot about what they did wrong. Like I'm seeing a lot of guilt, a lot of regret, a lot of like, oh gosh, why did I do that? What if you don't accept me for who I really am? And we have, I love you. Wow. Wow, guys. You guys have a strong effect on these people. Okay. Okay. So this is someone who most likely is more on the avoidant side, okay? Um, wants love just as much as you do, but this person is very scared of love. And because of this, they have built up all of these walls over the years to really keep love out. And somehow, you have been breaking down these walls. But they're at a point now where they're looking at this connection and they're very scared of the potential expectation that could come with this. Um, so obviously they did something. I'm going to clarify what it is that they did here. They did mess up. I don't know if it's fine now between the two of you guys or not. Um, but again, like I was saying in pile two, there's this awareness that, oh my gosh, I did something wrong. Like I don't see these people in denial. I'm seeing that they're very aware of what they've done wrong. But this person kind of feels like you see them as something that they're not. Like they almost feel like you have them on some sort of pedestal and that's why they're afraid that they're not going to be able to meet your expectations because they feel like once you see through the illusion of maybe who they projected themselves to be that you may be disappointed. So what did they do? I know I effed up. What did they do? Oh, they did. Oof. Seven of Swords. Could be anything, really. I mean, it's a general reading. But the Seven of Swords could be cheating. Could be lying. Could be having poor intentions. It's very sneaky, right? The Seven of Swords is very deceptive. It's very sneaky. So whatever they did <clears throat> to you, they know they effed up, okay? So how is this person feeling about Pile 3? Four of Pentacles Reverse. That came out in the last reading, too. Four of Pentacles Reverse. Why is this here? They want to open up to you about how they're feeling. They would like to. That's how they feel. They want to open up to you about how they're feeling. But they're afraid of being rejected or abandoned. Five of Pentacles. Oh my gosh, the devil. These Okay, if you guys watch Pile 2, you're going to see how crazy the alignment of these readings are right now for some reason. I feel like it's the same person for like all the piles. But anyways, pile two had the devil. You guys have the bound card, which is the devil. I want to see what it is in, in relation to this reading, though, because it could be a few different things. But one thing I will say is I feel like this person is in sort of a low vibration. So they're getting pulled into this devil energy. They're getting pulled into their fears. They're letting their fears consume them. Why is bound here? Why is bound here? Yeah, this is what's stopping them. This is what's stalling their progress. Chariot reverse. They're letting their fear stop them. The Nine of Wands in reverse. So what I'm seeing here is that you have someone who really wants to open up to you about their feelings, but they have a huge, intense fear of rejection, of abandonment, and because of this, they stop themselves from opening up and letting their walls down as well. The Nine of Wands reverse actually can talk about letting your walls down. There's different meanings, but it can talk about that. 
And then it's interesting because you are breaking down these walls that they've built. And I feel like all they want to do is just surrender to this connection, but they're very afraid. And I feel like they're letting their fears consume them. Okay, this person misses you. If you're apart from this person, they're missing you right now. But they don't feel confident in themselves. King of Wands reverse. Could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have let's start a business together. Maybe you guys are in the same industry. Some of you guys may have like similar interests. And we have I'm sorry I ran from you. Okay, let's see. Yeah. You turn me on so much. Yeah, so if you guys are worried about like whether or not this person is even interested, they're definitely interested, but they did run from you because of their own fears. And I feel like this, oh, that could also be what this is here as well. Never even considered that. The Seven of Swords, actually this girl looks like she's running away. So it could be that maybe that's, this, that's what they did that acted up as they ran away from you because their fears got the best of them. Um... So this person is still very attracted to you. That could also be this devil energy. They feel bound to you, but they did run from this connection. Okay, I think at some point this person will release this fear and open up to you about how they're truly feeling. So you're going to get a glimpse into this person's like real emotion for you. One thing that I am getting that could help with this person is like try not to put them on a pedestal because that kind of, for them, like maybe try not, that's going to sound kind of weird, but don't boost them up too much because... They may not take it as that. They may start feeling, oh my gosh, I have an expectation that I have to meet. And they might start feeling pressure. Um, so that's one thing that I'm just getting here is like, just try to see this person for who they are. Not like some fantasy. Because I feel like that's going to help a lot with this person feeling a lot safer with you. Okay, so that's pile three. So I hope this resonated. If you guys want to book your own personal reading, I do have a $20 off promotion. And I'll leave the information in the comment section. Alright, but I'm sending you absolute love and light, and I wish you all the best on your journeys. Take care.